Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the Redstone Toolbox, Yay! a series where I try and take something very simple and hopefully make it mind-blowingly awesome. Now today we are looking at double piston extenders because someone called Turtle Bay has been asking for it for ages. So hopefully this video will be totally awesome. So what exactly is a piston extender? Well it's exactly what it says on the tin, it extends the reach of a standard piston. So this piston on its own can only move this block or a set of blocks only one space. It can only move this block from point A to point B and then back from point B to point A. Whereas a piston extender, for example this one here, is two pistons. So yes you're doubling the pistons, but now it can move the block two blocks. So from here to here and then back to point A. A triple piston extender, yes, has three pistons, but of course it can move the block three blocks. And a quadruple piston extender, yes, it uses four pistons, and you guessed it, it can move a block four blocks. Okay, you might say, so why do I need a piston extender? Now to that, I say you should definitely watch more Redstone videos, because nearly in every build, nearly every build, you have some sort of piston extender. And the most common one is definitely the double. So now for the rest of the video, we're going to be focusing on the double piston extender. So just to recap, that is the piston extender which uses two pistons and moves the block from point A to point B, the distance of two blocks. So how do they actually work? Well, firstly, this piston extends on the left here, which moves this piston to here, then this piston extends. So that's the full extension. You can see it's now moved to point B, but now we've got to move it back to point A. So to do that, we firstly retract this piston, then we retract this one here, then we extend this piston to grab that block, and we take it back. Now that might have looked really confusing, especially if you're new to redstone, but trust me, it's easier than it looks, because all you have to remember is one simple ratio. Now the ratio is 3, 6, 0. Now the ratio stands for the delay between the points of the redstone hitting the pistons, okay? So this repeater here is on 3 ticks, so 3, then this one's on six because two and four, so three, six, and this one has no repeater, so that's a zero. Three, six, zero. So when I flick this lever on first, this dust is going to power, but it's going to do nothing for the time being. But it's also going to power this repeater, which takes 0.3 seconds to go through because it's on three tick delay, which extends this piston. Now, when this piston extends, it pushes this block to here, which then extends because this redstone dust is already activated as we can see here. Now, for the retraction, it's slightly more complicated. When I flick the lever off, firstly, this dust turns off, which is going to retract this block. Sorry, retract this piston, which moves the block from here to here. Then three ticks later, this piston is going to retract this piston. So this piston now is going to move from, basically from here to here, but the block will still be here. But as you can see, this repeater will still be activated for a very short period of time, which means when that piston moves to here, it will extend, but then immediately retract, which will move the block back, as we can see here. So the extension, and then the retraction. Now this ratio of 360 can be used in any orientation. It can be used going up, as we see here, so three in the bottom, six in the middle, and then zero on the top. And the retraction, and it can be used downwards. So the extension, so three on the top one, six in the middle, and then zero on the bottom, and then the retraction. Now, if you're a beginner at Redstone and this looks very confusing, just pause now, just pause the video, go onto Minecraft and have a go for yourself, because honestly, it's not as confusing as it looks like. Just remember that ratio, three, Six, zero. Another type of piston extender we need to mention is a slime block piston extender. So you can see here we have pistons here with slime blocks on them and blocks on the front. Now you see these everywhere in things like vault doors and things like that. So when I power this block here, firstly nothing happens over here because the obsidian is touching only the slime blocks. But then three ticks later, this block powers, which powers this dust, which powers this block, which will extend this piston moving this piston to here, which will extend because this block is powered, like this. Okay, then on the retraction, this piston will retract first, 
moving the slime block back. Then three ticks later, this piston will track, moving the slime blocks, the blocks, and the sticky piston back into position. It's very simple. Now these types of piston extenders can be used to go vertically up. As you can see here again, zero ticks and three ticks going this way. And they can be used to go vertically down as well. As you can see. So now we've gone over all the boring redstone. <laughs> now we can get on to some awesome, mind-blowingly good compact builds. Now all the builds I'm about to show you now are all one wide. The reason for that is so I don't need to do full tutorials on all of them. You can just actually literally have a look for yourself on how to build them. Now in the case of observers, what I'll do is I'll put a little arrow on them to show you which way to place them. So for example, if this one goes down, I will put the arrow facing downwards so the dot goes down. If the arrow faces up, you know to put the observer like this. If it's toward the right, like that. And if it's toward the left, like that. Okay. So let's look at these designs. Now this, I think, is the smallest piston extender design. Tell me if I'm wrong, but I think it is. <laughs> now this one works like this. So we have the extension and we have the retraction. Now the only problem with this design is that if you have a wall here, of course you need redstone dust on top. So it's not very conducive if there is a wall. So if there is a wall, but you don't mind the input, you build this one. So you can see here you have the input on the wall. On our third design, we hide the input and all the redstone so we can have a complete flush wall. And then our fourth design is like the third, slightly bigger, but I think it's a tiny bit faster. Okay, now moving on to vertical. So this one is nice and fast, but of course it's not flush with the uh, flooring. This one is completely is flush with the flooring, but it is slightly slower. And this one is the fastest one yet, but of course we have to have the lever on the flooring level. So now moving on to downward piston extenders, this is our first design. The extension and the retraction. Our second design is basically very similar to the first design, but it uses a redstone lamp. It's a little bit faster too. And then our third design is the fastest, but you do have to have the lever next to the block which does extend. Now, of course, this topic of piston extenders could go on for ages, but I did not want my video to go like that. I wanted it to be nice and concise. So we've looked at what a piston extender is, how we use them, and then we've looked at various types, and of course, some mind-blowing builds along the way. So, really, can I press the right button? <laughs> so that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video or like this design, please give us a like, and if you really loved it, Make sure you subscribe with that wonderful subscribe button for more awesome content. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one, and I'll see you later. Bye!